Yes, sir. You know what time it is. Welcome, welcome. We are back. We are back. And today I'm your host, Mike Michigan. We got V-Dub in the house. V-Dub, how are you today? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Hello, everybody. Man, today is a fabulous day for America. We have uh, one of the most influential guests that publishing has ever seen. And for the Black culture's fact, one of the godfathers, one of the premier fashion magazine, publishing, you name it, uh, celebrityism, all types of things. Mr. John Blassingame is in the house, sir. Good morning. How are you? Great morning. Great morning. How are you? I'm wonderful. Mm -hmm. And also, before we get started, I also have the privilege today to have my, that's my beautiful mother that's on the screen, uh, Ms. Karen Bankston. And also, of course, we have Mr. Phil Ruby. I'd like to welcome them. Hello there, Mom. Hello there, Kira. How are you? Kira got a new button on there. No worries. They're on screen. They're all, we have a live audience. Mr. Blasting Game, sir, thank you. Thank you. How you like the background? I love it. I love it. Thank you very much. You know. It's, yes. I love, I love a man great. with a clean ball head. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. You are looking there mighty you dapper go. there, sir. You're looking mighty dapper there. We all wanted to step our game up for you today because we know how special of an occasion this is. Uh -huh. Well, I appreciate it very much. And, uh, you know, we're going to carry on and make it go on. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, let's go ahead. And without getting into it, um, a lot of people grew up, for y'all that don't know, and some of you that do know, if you ever had a Jet magazine, an upscale magazine, an ebony magazine, uh, black hair, hype hair, um, any of these magazines, if if you had anything, this is the gentleman that was highly responsible for getting that to your table, living room chair, barbershop, newsstand, everything. Mr. Blasingham, please take us back to the genesis of how you started in a world that we know we know nothing about. Yes. Well, let me just say this. I started out with Hearst Magazine. That was my first introduction to the magazine distribution industry. Uh, I was one of the first Blacks that they hired. Of course, had the biggest Afro you ever want to see. I mean, it was there. Okay. But uh, and, and, and talk about jo jokes and, and things like that. You know, I would deal in. Uh oh. Something happened. That's all right. We're going to have Mr. Blossom game back. It's got to come back. We'll wait because we we're gonna we're gonna hold on edge right there. Yeah, he probably just dropped dropped the line and be back. You have him back. Yeah, <laughs> here maybe if you could help us on the side on the getting in. I was just getting into that. Um. Mr. Blasting Game, well, he'll be back in just a moment. But in the meantime, Doug, what do you want to go over? Yeah, what do you want to go over? Tell me some of the things that you know about Mr. Blasting Game that you wanted to have some questions ready for him. Um, I just wanted to know how he handled all those magazines and the publishing on it. And um, I know you had to go through a lot of ups and downs during that time of uh you know, being a journalist and doing this thing. So I just want to hear what he had to say. Me too. Oh, com coming up in his era. Right. Which I'm quite sure is the, you know, the Jim Crow days and all that. Back, sure am I back on? Yeah, you're back on. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, 
No problem. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, as I was saying, can, can I continue from where? Yes, I, yes, yes, sure. please. Yes, please. Yeah. I, as I was saying, I uh, was one of the first blacks that they hired and the biggest Afro you ever want to see. Right. Okay. But and every time we went on uh, to a sales meeting, I was joked with, kid with, toyed with about my the, the, the big Afros and what have you. But I know I was there for a purpose. Right. Okay. I know the purpose was to learn their ways of distribution. Because as you know, Mr. Johnson, who had Negro Digest, okay, he wanted them to distribute it for him. Okay. They would not allow him uh, to be distributed uh, through the main system and what have you. So he had to go and deal with uh, the black newspapers to get his products out. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the being there, I had learned and I had to, you know, uh, I had to uh, understand them and played with them so I could get that understanding on how they yeah. work their system. Right. And right. once I learned that system, yes, sir. I, I brought it back to my community. Okay, I brought it back to where, you know, I could help other black publications get uh, started. Okay, Mm -hmm. I worked with Essence. Okay, I helped Essence get started. I worked with Upscale Magazine. Yes. Uh, And then uh, then I started my own publications, uh, which was Today's Black Woman, Black Men's Magazine. Yes. uh, And High Pair Magazine. Yes. All right. So that I was the, the beginning of that. I also worked with DJ K. Slay, who, uh, uh, bled, you know, we want to give him honor. Yes. Uh, all salute. right. Uh, salute. Salute uh, to DJ uh, Slay K. Respect. Yes. Yes. I worked with him on on uh, Straight Stunting Magazine. Yes. Okay. Uh, and, you, and you know what? Like to go back to the culture, you also had something to do with the Vibe Magazine. Oh yeah, keep clean still. Word Up magazine was one of the publications uh, that I I got on the newsstand. Yeah, keep keep clean, keep yeah, keep keep clean clean still. still. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. and and Lynn Barnett and and uh, you know uh, Keith Ferguson. They had uh, they they initially I worked with them on their first publication. Right, and then uh, Keith went on to do Vibe magazine. Uh, and and um, uh, he also uh, worked with, well, Keith Ferguson worked with P. Diddy. He was a COO for P. Diddy. But they started out with me when they got out of college. I helped them do their first publication. So I've been in the industry, the publishing industry, a long time. Yes. And now today I'm helping other small publications uh, we I have a list of publications like we have the uh, Black Link magazine. Mm-hmm. I'm helping them. We have She Exists magazine. I've worked with Sheen magazine, which yes. is on the newsstand now. They started out with uh, they started out was a pamphlet. Yeah, Today, it's one of the large publications on the newsstand. Okay. Absolutely amazing. We, we now there's a couple things I wanted to ask you because I, I know, like you said, it was about relationships. And it, where are you from, Mr. Blasting Game, sir? I am originally Richard. from London, New Jersey. Okay. And some and some of the wonderful things that I found out, you know, doing research is my last name is McClendon, and and, uh-huh. and, and I, found I know out and my that, wife, my wife worked with your. Uh, Cousin, uncle, cousin, I don't know who it was. It, it was Clarence my, McClendon. My great, aunt, my Clarence. great aunt. yes. Yes, all right. And Clarence and his wife was very close to us for many, many years. Isn't that amazing? Uh, Mr. McClendon was a great man and and yeah. and, and had a wonderful wife. Yeah. And we go back to, to Newark back in the day. Newark is exactly where my grandmother and my father and everyone in the weak way and I thought in that the that, weekly, right, right, yeah. the weekly section of Newark. That's right. And I thought uh, that was absolutely so. You know what? Here's one I wanted to ask. You probably knew my grandfather, Lynn McClendon. Maybe I, I, they were, I, brother, I they were likely, brothers. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, um, the Clarence worked with my wife, and it and and his wife was very close. We 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 used to go out to dinner, etc. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, and he's yeah, in fact, uh, 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 I wanted to talk about my shows. This is a great way of introduction. Yes. Clarence came to some of my fashion shows that I've done okay. over the years and what have you. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And and I, and I and I and my father told me. Uh, my dad told me that. You were very close to our family, in fact. Yes. And, yeah, it, oh, yeah. and you were very, and and this leads back to, you know, you've been doing this for many, many years of bringing the culture together. You know, mm -hmm. you're a culture icon. And now I feel like you're you're almost family. So let me stop and let yeah. me hear more that you can tell us. Yes, sir. <laughs> yep. Let me just say this. We started out doing our shows. Um, there was a magazine, and I'll tell you how I started out doing the uh, show production. There was a magazine called Us Quarterly out of um, uh, was it, um, Detroit, Michigan. Um, this guy, a uh, gentleman that had the um, publication, Dwayne Love. Dwayne Love had the publication, and uh, Dwayne called me and asked me to uh, you know, uh, to put the publication, he wanted me to be the distributor for him. So I was his consultant. And then he asked me to, he said, well, listen, how do we promote the publication? So I said, well, Dwayne, let's do a show, a fashion show, but bring out the up and coming models along with the, uh, the high end models, the models that are well known. Mm -hmm. All right. We did that show. We used my cousin, who was a very well-known model at that time, Jennifer Bryce. We had uh, Tookie Smith. Uh, we, um, we had Peggy Dillard, which were these are some of the models back in the day in the beginning of, of, of them accepting black models. Uh, they they were well known, but we also we also used up-and-coming models out of Newark and, and, and uh, New Jersey, Washington, D.C., across the country. Yeah, uh, The show went on very well. We invited Essence Magazine. There was a, a, a well-known uh, makeup artist, Quiet Fire. Uh, the show was tremendous. It went on very well. We A lot of the young models got exposure. And, and took their careers to the next level. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, the magazine didn't make it. But from that on, that, sh that show back in August the 13th, it was Friday, August 13th, 1976. That was my first show. Wow. And I've been doing shows ever since, uh, two to three times a year. Yes. From that date on. And we uh, we did not miss a show until 2019, 2020. COVID hit. COVID, yeah. And we could not do the show. Right. Okay. So yeah. for a couple of years there, I was not able because of COVID. But we're back now and we are uh, making sure uh, and we're producing the shows and what have you. Speak, that's wonderful, awesome. And uh, speaking of shows, you have a show coming up uh, very soon in a few days, don't you? <laughs> yes, we have a show. It's called um, um, the, uh, the Halloween Fashion All-Star Fashion Weekend, mm. October the 27th through the 29th. It's mm -hmm. three days at the Marriott Hotel at Newark International Airport. Uh, oh. We have we have our uh, uh, the first day, which is August 27th, we have a ladies uh, over 40 and loving it fashion show. And this uh, that's on um, Friday, August 27th. OK, these are ladies that are over 40 and saying, hey, I still got it. And they're, and, uh, they're bringing on a fashion show and presenting <laughs> them, you know, themselves. And then we have on Saturday, we have our artist showcase and uh, featured designer showcase. Wonderful. But we also are bringing, um, I don't know uh, whether you heard of Mr. Bernard Bronner. 
Yes. Yeah. On the cover of uh, on the cover of Black Link magazine, we're going have we're going to have a cover release party uh, with Mr. Bar with Mr. Bronner on the cover. Mm -hmm. We have also um, a, a, a Sweet Tea. Sweet Tea is a, a hip hop artist, a woman, a ladies hip hop artist mm -hmm. from back in the day. Well, well known back then. One of the first ladies uh, uh, that graced the hip hop industry. Okay. She's coming out and um, uh, uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, Bob, Rob Love. Rob is. No, Rob. Uh, I remember Rob. Yeah, Rob is formerly with Def. He was the vice president of Def Jam, Def Jam right. and Rob now has a podcast. Okay, uh, right, and uh, it's uh, so it. And we're inviting out, you know, people from the fashion, yeah, film, and music industry, and it's a networking thing because we're also inviting uh, these these folks. Uh, from Miami, who was doing a, uh, who's trying to acquire, there was a beach called down, uh, beach down there called Virginia Key Beach. Okay. Okay. Virginia Key Beach, uh, back in the day, was the colored beach. Okay. Uh -huh. Where, uh, if you, uh, you know, if th that was the only beach you could go on back in the day. They right. gave that for the coloreds only. And uh, we have a group of people that are now trying to acquire a lease for 99 years on, for that beach. And they want to build a black museum, okay, mm -hmm. a black boutique hotel, and a, a um, memorial for the African nations down there, okay? But, you know, we're fighting it because, you know, the white folks don't want you to have that. <laughs> I, I, I understand okay. that. Okay. And yes. so, and then, uh, then, so what we're doing, we're also, and I have some folks coming out that, uh, that, that um, from the HBCUs, the Historical Black College, they want to do a, a doing, you know, in the spring break, they want to put a show on doing spring break down there. Right. So and they want me to be a part of that. So we have a lot going on. A lot going we on. We have a lot going on. And it's about our culture. It's yes. about us doing some things together. Yes, it's sir. about uniting us. And if you see what's going on in the world today, yeah. but brother, we have to start to be united because they're trying to divide us from every which way. You're right. Okay. Yeah. And so, you've, been a, you've been a pillar of putting the compound business, you know, you know, like you're exactly right. Um, I almost said Dr. Blackson game, you know what I mean? Because you, you're dropping mm -hmm. some gems on us right now. You know, mm -hmm. and, um, I know we're, that we're just going through so much, but you are so responsible of so many different careers. I just wanted to ask, you know, how does how does that like I know everyone calls you to put things together, but. Like, how does that work? You know, the, do we, does everything just seems to start with you or, you know, where does these ideals and the magic come from? It's, it's so brilliant. Well, let me say this, you know, I have a, a, I've been in, being in the industry as long as I have, I have a network that I work. I'm a connector. Yes, sir. All right. You tell me, Hey, I need this. You know, we, uh, me and Bernard, we, I, I don't know whether you know who Will Packer is. Yes, Mr. Okay. Will Packer right here. I was getting ready to say. That's him. That's Will. Tell Will, him. I, I, I worked with Will <laughs> no. years ago. He when his first movie called Menage a Trois right. with Kenya oh. Moore. Oh. I, I helped promote that movie. Okay. I worked with Will when he first, well, you know, when he first came out of FAMU. Yes. Okay. FAMU. I helped, I, I, when I was publishing Black black Men and uh, Today's Black Woman, okay. I promoted him. He, um, I put him on my covers. Yeah. All right. Mr. Blessing, uh, if you mind, the executive producer, we were wondering, if is there a way that you could turn on your camera so that we could also see you shining with us? 
We can hear okay. you. Guys. How do you do that? How do you, you know, I'm old school now. Yes, sir. I know. <laughs> no, that's right. We want, we just went to the first quarter. We want to go to the second quarter, make sure we can see. I think there might be a, a place on that, on the phone or in the computer where, um, now you, I think we got, now we muted your audio there. Maybe at halftime he can hang up and just call back and get directly in. Yeah. And shouts out to everybody else that's in. I didn't mean to mess up the flow, but we just wanted to see if we can get it. And we can't hear you now. That's okay. We want to see you. We want to see you in okay. here. There you go. Let's Thank go. you, Mr. Brown. Thank you. Okay. Can you hear me now? I can hear you, sir. Perfect. We just can't see you. Okay. But it's all right. Let him keep talking. Right on, B-Dub. That's my man. Keep it going. I'm just... All right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let me see. How do I? I'm trying to look and see if I can turn on the. Is there a camera? Uh, don't, don't worry about it. Don't even we'll worry. Figure about it. Out. We'll figure it out. We just happy to, to hear from you about it. You know, um, yeah. so as we take it back, some of the when you were talking about they're trying to divide us. Who were some of the people that allowed you? I don't know if allowed is a good name or way of saying it, but who got you in the ball game? Who were some of the people in the early days to to let you in the game and? Do you still work with some of them today? Well, uh, you know, I work with uh, folks like Josh Gibbons, who was the vice president of professional products uh, uh, at Revlon. Uh, I work with uh, Bob Tate. Bob Tate was uh, the uh, publisher of Black Elegance magazine. Mm -hmm. uh, Deidre Tate is his daughter that worked with Queen Latifah. Um, you know, I, again, Mr. Bernard Bronner, I've worked with him for many, many years. Uh, and, you know, there was uh, there were some uh, folks that I worked with at Hudson News Company. Yes. OK, Hudson News was uh, a, a, one of the largest, well, the largest distributors of magazines. Yes. So they were very instrumental in getting a lot of things done for me. Yes. OK. And again, uh, you know, I um, uh, I work with uh, uh, Keith Keith and Lynn and uh, you know um, uh, Keith Ferguson. All right, uh, Mister uh, Mister Blessing gave uh, Keir sent me so many wonderful photos. We're going to have them in. That it seems like everyone knows you. You know, I hear you saying you work with. It sounds like we working with you. You know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. sir. Oh, well, when I say, you know, I work with that, you know, we work together, you work, know, work. you know, I always say, you know, we have to give, you know, give each other's glory. Right. Okay. And we have to stop being selfish yes. in our growing because that if you're selfish and you're trying to take it to the next level, it's right. not going to go. It's right. We, You're right. You know, yes. and that, that that's me today. I want to work with, I want to help young folks today to understand, okay, that if you, you know, if you want to take life to the next level, you got to be able to give in order to get, okay? Stop being selfish with your life and your career. Amen. What you put into life, you get out. That's, That's what I teach every day to everyone. You know, we I always say yes, we're $1.3 trillion market right here in the U.S., the, the, the uh, Black or the African-American market. We're the 16th largest economy. $1.3 okay. trillion, just us. Yeah. I mean, just, That's in, just in, us. Just us. Wow. Okay, the 16th largest economy in this uh, in, in the world. OK, yeah. but we have nothing. We're consumers. We don't unite. We don't try to uh, uh, make our or do our own thing within our own community. Right. So everything we have, we come that we consume. But we don't own. Yes. sir. And we have to start learning how. <laughs> To it keep it like in our own communities. We sound like we started to build some some community centers and have um, dedicated rooms, such as named after like yourself. People that did, they, you know, yeah, they would have did yeah. these type of things, you know. So we can not only uh, preserve the knowledge, but to keep going because this is like one of the best interviews ever. And I know we're going all over. 
Um, Mr. Johnny Johnson, uh, Mr. Johnson, uh, could you just ex- tell us a little bit of how you met and your relationship? Because the, the Ebony and the Jet. Oh, yeah. Well, the yeah, yeah. Magazine were, and, and Black Enterprise. I was looking at that as a child. Earl that, Graves. Yeah, I met, they well, were big I, I, met, I met Earl a long time ago. I met Mr. Uh, Mr. Johnson. Yes. Uh, he used to, you know, once he uh, got into the system or the, uh, of distribution, yes, uh, uh, he used to come to the uh, Atlantic Coast uh, National Distributions events that we used to do, and I met him down there at okay. the uh, at the convention. And you know, we I had, we we sat down, we had a conversation. I remember this very well. With Mr. Bernard Bronner from Upscale, myself, Walter Abbott, and Mr. and uh, who was who worked for Mr. Johnson, and and um, uh, Mr. Johnson, okay, and he was telling us the difficulties he had to go through. He was saying, you know, he never, and if you if you look back to all the marches that Martin Luther King did, yes. Okay, he said, I'd never march with Martin Luther King. Wow. He said, I could never do it because of the fact that all my major advertisers, if I they would have seen me on that line of, on, of with marching with Martha, Martin, yeah. I would lose all of them. You would have wow. Okay. He said, I wow. contribute, I contribute to them. Yeah. I, I wrote a check for him. Yeah. Could not march with him. But that's the day, you know, and, that, and the, that, the that music is, and the music like industry. That goes crazy. back to knowing your worth. You don't want to cut that off. That's beautiful. I mean, I can't believe that. But you're right, Doug. Got to know your worth. Mm-hmm. Yes, so you mean to tell me that, he, and Dr. King was on some iconic. Ep- so did Dr. King understand that as well? Uh, hey, listen, he, you know, he supported him. He gave him, you know, he, he had $50,000 checks and what have you, but he could not march. He could not be seen marching because that would have cut his, cut his advertisers. Yes. Okay. Wow. And then, uh, hey, listen, if you, uh, if, you know, in the, in the music industry, Yes. You don't play the music that they want you to play. Right. If you're not saying uh, our women are bitches, or do you want if you're not cursing, or you're not doing, hey, they don't want it. Hey, this is what I want. This is what music we want to have out there. Right. We, they they had the narrative for so long. Your, yeah, we want to dilute your spirit. Right. By uh, all right, we want to dilute your respect for yourself. This is what we want out there. As long as you, as long as you, you know, if you look throughout our industry, anything to create that situation yeah. of that Willie Lynch theory. Mm. Okay, as long as, as long as you can keep their minds, okay, yeah, dissension amongst one another, we don't have to worry about it. Mm. Okay, as long as we can keep the, the that dissension amongst them. The light skin against the dark. Remember that if you, if I do you remember go that. Back. I do remember that very much. Yeah. Do you do you do you think that that's still uh, prominent in well the black culture in Hollywood and New York and all of the things today still? Do you think it's still going on within us? Or are we getting better? At the, uh, at the uh, uh, hopefully, hopefully we're getting better. You know. Yes, sir. Okay. What we what we have to learn to do today is respect <laughs> one another and to unite with one another, okay? Because we have to l- learn to dissipate that fear of helping one another, okay? Because, so, you know, that's what, uh, again, absolutely. that's what the system plays with us. Yeah. As long as, you know, oh no, you know, you can't help your brother. right? <laughs> And it doesn't hurt. And then you hear what, like, this is this is coming from the top, y'all, for anybody out there that's listening. This is coming from uh, a gentleman who is so well-connected. Trailblazer. So, uh, but trailblazer, pioneer, you know, and, you know, we taking lessons from him, and he's telling you 
that you can't get anywhere without having an open heart, having love, definitely having God on the side. Isn't that right, Mr. Blessing Game? That is so true, you know. Yeah. And, you know, God, the God within you, I mean, every day, uh, every day when I wake up, the first thing is uh, I do is give the glory. Man. Okay. Then I, then give that respect. Yes. Okay. To, to our source. Yeah. Okay. Because respect come with, from within. If you don't have respect within, I mean, <laughs> how, <laughs> you know, how far out can you go? Okay. Right. Yeah. You no. Know? And, uh, but... But, you know, and, and again, you know, what I want to do is to try and help our young brothers and sisters, yes. because I tell you, if we don't get together and we don't unite together, you know, they're going to take us out Yeah, and you look and see what's happening. Yeah. If, and I Trump. always say this, I always say this, you can see what's happening Currently, right now, in this state of age, right there is a war with Palestine and Israel right now. Well, you can see what's happening there, and you can see what's happening in the Ukraine, and you can see what's happening in Africa. Right. Okay. Okay. We, and the war in the banking. If those Israel. African nations, if yes, those African, African nations united, do you know how powerful it would be? If we could get those African nations to unite, yes. we have all the natural resources over there, right? But we don't, and, and you know, but we're we're letting the other these uh, these powerful countries come in, yeah, and and, and they take over our they take over the resources. You know what, okay. Mr. Mr. My heart just came. That just came my heart when it said, maybe you, maybe somehow you could be the ambassador through your works with fashion, hair, movies, film, publishing, and link up with different countries. And we can start, I mean, the, the African continent as a whole, and then we yeah. can start maybe bridging more of our culture, their culture, and then make it, make it known as, you know, even talk politics and things like that. I mean, you could be mm -hmm. someone that could be that ambassador to, to make that bridge. I'm, I'm, my heart just said to say that and throw it out. I don't know why it's all here in my throat. Well, well, you know, I have a yeah. brother, a brother Aziz, who is a Nigerian, uh, and he's in Ghana right now. Okay. He, he used to be, and, and Aziz is my brother. If you look up the network, the network journal, Aziz the network. was here. The network, the network journal. Okay, you'll see Aziz was the publisher. I was there his circulation director. Okay. And he did a thing with young blacks, okay, under 40 that had executive and he he, he honored he honored them and let they honored the ladies that are what that was in the that was in the industry. Of black ladies that are doing powerful things within the industry. Okay? Yes. I worked with him over the, and he's asked me to come over to Ghana. He said, Ghana is doing it. Yes. Okay. You did say that, Dub, my, my co that we get into the halftime. Dub, you did say something about Ghana and how to go over there. If you tell me about going and performing, that is amazing, um, Mr. Blossom Game, sir. We're at the halftime spot right now. We're going to start real quick, real to give a shout out to everybody here that's in the house right now. We thank you for being here on I'm From The Zoo. We also want to give a shout out to our sponsors. Dub, you want to go ahead and give us a couple of those shout sponsor shouts out real quick to us? Yeah, we give a shout out to Kellogg's Breakfast Cereal. We also want to give a shout out to the Mini Whirlpool, the next new technology and um, rehab. We also want to give a shout out to everybody that's coming in on the show, not only coming in on the show to listen, but to talk about some real things that's what's going on, not just a whole bunch of nonsense. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Right, that's right. We want to also thank our executive host, Kiki, for the Come Through Network. We also want to thank Mr. Keir Worthy. My mom is online today. Shouts out to you. Um, yeah. But we also want to say um, thank you to... Mr. Blasting Game, thank we got so much we don't want to we don't want to waste any time. Um one of the things um that we wanted to, to ask you in 
how do you when how much hands on when you're talking about these different things? Could you go through like what a like what a publisher does? Because I I've been I've had magical lessons publishing my music company for years, and I and I don't mm -hmm. think I'm doing such a good job with it as best as I can. I'm trying, <laughs> but I, I but coming from you, I feel like I'm gonna get a little bit more gain. Tell us what could you run like run through what it takes to get the talent, the 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 layouts. Do, how do you do that? Well, uh, we have we have different departments. We have our editorial, we have our ad advertising. Yes, we have our distribution. Okay, uh, and we we sit down and we create ideas. We're seeing what's what what what's hot, what's what's going on in the industry uh, that we're trying to connect with. And we go over different stories. We different who's hot, who's not. Right. And the editorial department uh, puts out all those things together. Okay. The mm -hmm. advertising uh, department does the advert. You know, it goes out and and, and uh, bring in the ads for the publication. Okay. Okay. And then uh, they, you know, then we have, you know, of course, our graphic people who puts the magazine together. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have that we have different deadlines. Okay, right. you know, we sit down at an editorial meeting, we sit down, we say, okay, uh, all ads have to be in a certain time. Uh, then, uh, uh the, then you have to have your um, uh, you know, editorial, all all edits, you know, the editorial has to be in from the writers and and photographers and etc. Right. Yes. Okay, then you get. Then then you get every, all all that together, and then you uh, then you have the printing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, you send it, ship it off to the printer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then hey, I, got, and I, got, I just had a question. I just had a question, um, Mr. Blessing Game. Um, uh -huh. By you being uh, a pioneer and a trailblazer in this business, coming up to the Jim Crow days. Um, how how were how were you able to be able to keep your head on on a swivel as I must say, other than just losing it? Because doing was pretty hard times back in the day when you were in that time when you were there to try to get to this point where you are now. So I know you have some obstacles or some oh, some uh, let, let me down. tell you, uh, let me tell you, big obstacles. You know, uh, they you know they tried to play you. They, of course, uh, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, when I was working with them, you know, they would train. Then when uh, when I got the the job as the district manager for distribution at Hudson News, normally they would send you off to work with uh, three, uh, like uh, three or four other district managers, uh, so you can understand the the uh, uh, what's going on. Right. Do you know that they did not send me off? That I had to stay there and learn it on my own. I'm sure. Okay. You did. I'm sure you did. Okay. When they, uh, uh, you know. Well, that's where I'm uh, like, I don't I, that. They let you in the door, but then they just let you just kind of. Like, they, they they let me in the door to fail. Mm. Right. They just so you were saying they let me they wanted in the somebody door to, to come fail in so they can say they, 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 they could say, hey, we brought <laughs> the we we hired black. Look, yeah. we had this guy here. He didn't, yeah. you know, right. but they, 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 they were letting me there. And they put me there to fail. But you did not okay. succeed. I did not. I succeeded. No, <laughs> and and, and I going succeeded. back to that I, that you were, what, what Dub was saying, oh, I'm sorry, you were saying, I'm sorry, Mr. Blessing Game, I'm sorry, you were getting ready to say? No, no, no. I, I, I was getting ready to say is that, you know, I succeeded. I'm, yes, you know, right. I made it through. Yes. Okay. But uh, hey, listen. But it wasn't easy, know. you know. They would, as I said, and you couldn't ask the other white boys up there because you know the right. people from uh, Condé Nast, the people from TV Guide, and etc. You know, you know that's a shame that that's but I like had a, you know. That, that but there was one the white, was, you know, but you know, and this is this is in life. There's one, there was one white boy that that liked me and he would work with me and help me out as much as he could and what have you. Yeah. Okay. But I was in the, in the office with all these white boys <laughs> and it wasn't easy. It was not easy at all. And what years was this right now? What year was uh, we, the, you this? Was, and you had the big Afro and you had the big Afro. 
This was in the early 70s. Early 70s. Yep. Uh, you know, hey, listen, <laughs> Jim Crow had ain't, ain't been that long gone. Yeah. <laughs> and it's still here. It ain't gone. Still here. But you we know, know, we're still dealing with it. But it, it reminds me of that you. That was an angle reverse. Yeah. We still are there. We sure we're are. Still there. Still but, there. you know, back in, you know, but, hey, listen. Uh, back in the 50s and the 60s, you still uh, look what Martin went through. Right. Okay. And that I can remember, okay, what the things that were going on. And, you know, when I first really, and I, I got to tell this story. Please. When I first really found out, because, you know, I, I was from, born up here in Jersey. Okay. And when I first really found out, Yes, sir. You know what? It, what? Uh, how to say discrimination? Uh, or you know, was when I went to Delaware. Mm. We were going down south to Washington D.C. Uh, to and and pass. I thought we were going to Greenville, but I stopped off at a restaurant. Yeah, at a diner. Excuse me, and in, in De De Wilmington, Delaware. Wilmington, Delaware. And I was, a, I was a little young. Uh, I think I was like uh, tw about 14, 15. Right. And I went into the the restaurant, uh, the, the the diner, and I asked, and I sat at the counter, and I asked for a hamburger. Mm. And I first, and when the lady said, you, you can take it to go, but you can't sit here. Mm -hmm. no. Okay, that was when I said, no, thank you. And I walked out. Yes, sir. If you can't go, you're not going to get my money yeah. and play me at the same time. Think that I refuse to have that happen. Right. And, and again, and again, that's what we have to do today. That's what we're They right. take our money, they come into our community. Take the money, they and give you nothing for it, mm. Mm. and give you nothing for it. So what we you, have to learn what how we, to um, start. How how can we how can we turn that? You know, I've always I'm always a big proponent of starting. Um, I've always been like like you said, like black people, we have uh, we have a product. You we know, have the power. We have a product. We have a power. We have you know, the even power. If, even if we it was like, you know, how, even if we could set it we, up so everybody gives a dollar a week of each other and then we recirculate that's kind of money to buy mm -hmm. land, to buy, um, to, to do building, to be, you know, find those, those, those construction companies and to get yourself together with the other pioneers. Cause we've seen you with legendary people like, um, I, Mr. Worthy sent me a picture with you and Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton. You were walking in hand to hand. I oh mean, yeah, yeah. We, with, I worked uh, with the mayor. You, you were with the high with, level. Yeah. Yes. Sir. I worked. I I received his award, the uh, Operation Push Living Legend Award. That's right. Congratulations on your Living yeah. Legend Award. That's yeah. Uh, yeah. They, standing uh, there. That's yeah. Right. Uh, that you know, uh, congratulations. But we again, again, we have to stop being uh, going with our hands out begging. Yes, we have to get a point of strength. Yes, I that's agree. the only way the system understands you. So when you speaking of strength, so when you when you you well, move, it, you know that, on, that, that I I'm speaking of you know economic strength. Because yes. that's the only way they the, the man understands you. I mean, you can come there and and, and you know uh, ride, pick it, riot, whatever. Yes. Okay. And and that's the other thing. I mean, we we riot, but we riot in our own community. See now, so you have so many levels of seeing us go through. You know, the civil rights movement, and then the seventies. And then the 80s, when Reagan and the crack era tried to bring us down in the drugs, and then 90s, they tried to eliminate us in prisons. And then, and well, that's exactly what they did. They, <laughs> what, the, what was that? Uh, 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 Lyndon Johnson, mm -hmm. the Great Society. Mm -hmm. And he said, What he said, hey, what he did was he tell, uh, he gave the woman's welfare mm -hmm. and said, Okay, but your man can't be there. 
Absolutely right. Yeah. Okay. And that and was then, a and then that, that's there. what he did. He gave the welfare, but he told the one the black woman, your man can't be there if you collecting this money. Right. Right. So they right. took away before then in the in the fifties. Okay. They uh, we uh, black men were in the in the home doing well, surviving and and supporting their family. Yes, they yes. said this way we can't have this. Right. So that that was the great society with Linda Johnson, that yeah. took the wealth the, the welfare state, and they took the black man out of his community, and then what they did, you know, black men were working well. They 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 you know they were doing had jobs. Uh, you know, uh, General Motors and Detroit and all in Chicago and et cetera. You know, we had a great economy for the black community. Yeah, there was a thriving one. You know, when, it was when, taking, you know, with it the magazines, was taking, everything. Yeah, yeah, it was taking away from us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, General then, mm -hmm. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just saying they just took General Motors and that was it. It's like, and I took General Motors and a few other, uh, and I, I remember in my in my little town of Linden, New Jersey. Yeah. <clears throat> back in the day when uh, the high school, they had American Sinomad, they had yeah. uh, General Allen, they had Gordon's Gen, they had General Motors. Yeah. Okay. The the uh, uh, they what they did in high school. The guy would get out of high school. He'd get a job at one of those major companies. Yeah. Okay. And and they would work for thirty years. I mean, he we he he take care of his family, etc. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you know in Linden today they have uh, they, they, none of those companies exist. General it's, Motors, if you yeah. look at it, it's gone. Yeah. American Dynamite, it's gone. General yeah. Airline, it's gone. Okay, Gordon's gym is gone. I mean, they took, they cleaned the communities on the, every major city across the country. You know, that's and then they had that, that black picture. to be, yeah, black. They, they had a lot of the trade schools. They yeah. took, they got the trade schools in the, in the, in the, you know, hey, they took, and then, and then, hey, you get a college education today, you get yeah. a master or a, 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 a BA or BS. And what can you get with that? Most of those guys are working in McDonald's. You're right, you're right. You know, just just what you had said, just to touch on that. In 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 our own hometown in Kalamazoo, we had uh -huh. General Motors. It was gone. Fisher Body gone. BMO Steel gone. Mill. American Cinnamon. My dad. My 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 dad worked for American Cinnamon. You know, I remember that mm -hmm. gone. Up John Company, which my mom worked at it, during a lot of the hiring became Pfizer. And you know, they they yeah. start locking people out. So I mean. But, you know, what I wanted to ask you, I mean, I know that you have seen so many different levels of of the blockage and they're not going to stop that. And I know you know that. But how have is like with the new generation of entertainers and you've worked with like all of the old school and the wonderful pioneers of do you see us getting better? Do you see is there a way that we can bridge it? You know, and if there's any way that I can help, I, I would love to help, you know. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I, I would say, and I said this in the beginning, see, they have uh, subliminized our minds to not trust one another. As long as you uh, cannot trust your brother, as long as you can keep dissension within that community, you don't have to worry about them. We have, uh, you know, we have to teach our young. Mm hmm to unite together to, and, and then, you know, you look at the, 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 uh, the major football players, the major folks that have money in the entertainment, they don't come back to their community. Yeah. And Matt, you got the, you know, in, in, in other words, you know, I always say this, look at me, Without, without, in other words, they look at the money, and then you got, of course, when they get the, 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 to the uh, uh, size and the, and the amount of money of some of the uh, these major fo uh, football and basketball players and big companies, 
you know who comes after the, the, the marry the men that are on that level yeah okay look at look at they did the kanye west yeah oh Man. In the third quarter, you know, that that struck a nerve right there, Mr. Blessing Game, because, you know, we do have quite a few people, including myself, Dub, a lot of people out there around that are from Kalamazoo. And, and as you said, it would be nice if we did give back to our community or be allowed to come back to our community to give because, you know, that block, it goes a long way, you know, mm -hmm. when you, when you want to be one of these hometown rappers or one of these hometown uh, athletes and artists, you want to, go there. you should make mm -hmm. it. You should make it safe for them to come, and make it welcome for them to come, and then open up the opportunities so that we can bring these industries together and have this compound actions that we want. Exactly, but you know, we got to clear our mind before we can, you know. I agree. And they, they, they create it. They have to clear our minds. In other right. words, so shall you think. I always say. So shall you think, so will it be. Right. But you got to learn how to change. You, 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 exactly. Yeah. There's a saying in life, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. That's amazing. That's game, right? Okay. There. Yes, and sir. that's what we have to do today. We that's have to, Okay, <laughs> we have to start looking at the things we look at in a negative way and right. start to turn it around to the positive day. Yes, real. Oh. Okay. okay. If we can wisdom. do that, if we can do that, we can create, you know, and you, you know your history. Okay. We know that that history that they're teaching our young folks today is not our history. Right. Okay. They, it was a, it, the history they want us to know is when they, when they brought us in here and changed, his okay, story. <laughs> okay, that's his story. Okay, we don't know nothing about oh, when we were in Africa. We they came over to our culture where right. we had culture. Okay, they were barbaric, not us. Yeah. Okay. The thing we about it, is, 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 we were doing we've great always, things. We've always been, uh, uh, we've always been a civil type of people. And the thing about it is, you know. We get to change the narrative, but the great thing is that we do have a pioneer such as yourself that's been through it. You know, you've been through the upper enchilons of every single level, and yeah. you're still you're still talking about love, getting together, and um, but you still health. health, wealth, health is wealth, but you're also basically tapping into a. It's a, we got to take care of ourselves and cleanse ourselves a little bit and forgive ourselves and, and pray to a higher power. This is absolutely amazing. That's, that's, that's right. So Mr. Blessing Game, I got a question for you. How was uh working with the Players Magazine? How did that come about? <laughs> and um, Talk well, about that. Yeah. All right. This, yeah, the here, here's, the deal, here's the deal on that. Um, There was a guy named Sid Smith, a black man. Mm-hmm. Okay, <clears throat> and he worked. He worked with this company called All America Distributors. Mm. Bentley Mars was the owner of All America Distributors. Um, yeah. Bentley Mars, yeah, this is right, Jew Jew Jewish guy. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Bentley brought me in uh, to handle the uh, the East Coast for him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, I because I worked with him because Bentley owned a uh, Holloway House Books. I don't know whether you heard of Holloway, Donald Goins, Iceberg. Right. I used to read that. Yes. Yeah. Well, I got I got a uh, Holloway House. Okay, into Woolworth and McCory's. Okay, I uh, uh, I went to meet with an. How, did you, how did you do that? How did you do that? I went to the. Uh, I went. You know, Woolworths had that uh, the Woolworths building downtown downtown in New York. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Mike Rice was the buyer. Okay. okay. I went and I talked to Mike and I said, Mike, look, you know, I don't want to go into all your stores. I just want to go into the stores in the ethnic areas with these books here. Okay. 
So Mike was, uh, was the guy that says, okay, John, we'll test you. Hmm. When that white man saw what these books did in those That's stores, it. Wow. Okay. Wow. That that was the beginning of getting us and we were on 125th Street was one of the stores. The FW Woolworth on 125th Street. Woolworth. Yeah. Okay. So that, so we that, had that, that, that word spread fast yeah. that you made that money for him? Uh, well, yeah. they, I made him money. I did you know. Wow. Yeah, you know, that, I was young then, so I, I know he gave me a company car. Yeah. A gas credit card, a yeah. allowance, and yeah. I was traveling. Okay. So you know, I was well, at that, but I didn't know. Hey, at that time, right? Okay, hey, you know, didn't you, even have if, no you're making, but... if you're making this much money, right? Can you imagine how much money this man is making, right. utilizing your talent utilizing and your skill? And you okay. had to hustle, and your hustle, and your grit, and your and your mind, really. My hustle, my grit, my mind. He was vampirizing us. You heard that? That's a loop right there. And and, and, and that was before moms. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But the thing that's yeah, interesting, they, 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 they were they were okay they with didn't have all. Him. They had W. T. Grant. Yeah. They had F. W. Woolworth. They had Macquarie's book uh, stores, mm -hmm. and uh, you know. And that, so the my my the, the my guy got uh, was making a lot of money, okay. Right. Yeah. And I thought buying, getting me a new car, leasing me a new car every year, giving me a yeah. gas credit card, and giving me allowance. It was and giving then, like a, a record deal. Sounds like a record yeah. deal. Three sixty. Uh, <laughs> that's exactly what it was, and this is what the deals are today. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly what they gave you a car. I mean, now, but, but, but take for, for granted though, if you are in a, in, in, in an industry and you, you're you young, you were, we didn't know, but all of a sudden somebody gives you a car, they give you an allowance, a gas card, and they say, hey, go ahead and do your thing. You know, a lot of us probably wouldn't, you know, we would like be happy to get to that next level, you know? That That's what they, they knew. As I said, look what Kanye mm -hmm. West, again, I hate to use him, but Please, it's, understand. it's real. Yeah. I, uh, when Nike, when they, they okay. pulled, when he and he starts waking up, what did they do? <laughs> they, they they took his money. I mean, I mean, took the, his money. The thing he about the a, whole thing he is, he like, was a billionaire, and he ended up with a hundred thousand dollars. The coolest thing about Kanye is that we need to all take form from that. And I mean, Kanye was like, "So what? You took the money. You're gonna." For but some reason, we don't control. You can't but, take me. And but you can't he, take but he me made mind. a mistake. What yeah. he made a mistake was he got with again. You know who? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, come on. If you had any kind of understanding, you just said, "Look, look what she did with this guy." Um, uh, what's his? What's her name? Brandy's brother. Ray J. Ray J. Ray J. Look what I mean. Look what that that, that the video would have turned me off. Yeah, How much yeah. respect can I have after <laughs> looking at that video for this woman? But that's so. That's you're telling the truth, like a true king, you know. And I understand that, you know. Um, but like switching gears a little bit because Kanye, you know, oh, he should have just bought the factory. He woke up. He, he woke, woke up. up. And, and, and hey, listen, he woke he up. He woke and, up. And, 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 he woke up. He was he was he woke up, but then that's when they said no. We uh, oh we got a a a. a they had to get his money to back too, though. They had to get that money back to him, though. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's just the fact that just like we were saying that he had to go through that, just like you had to go through that. One mm -hmm. of the things that you said that was so interesting is that they left you out there. And we know we hate to say they all the time because you always want to say who is they, but let's just say the 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 populist crew. I call it. The system. The system. The system let you out there and you didn't know anything. But the thing was, you were able to build black culture. And I remember growing up in the 70s, you know, there were hair shows. There were, you know, it wasn't the not maybe they not weren't yours, but you were the spark of people having black business. And could yeah, you well, tell us more about the the um well, you know I, the, 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 the budget of black hair? Yeah, the hype and 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 uh, because that was a magazine that was thought of 
for the individual's consumer that mm -hmm. looked at the magazine, and then we put the, the we put the uh, the uh, individual's stars on the cover, like uh, uh, Brandy and and mm -hmm. uh, you know Beyonce and 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 those type of ladies. Shout out to Beyonce. Great, great, yes, that great style cover. Yeah. Okay. Do, do you contact the, the 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 arts or the you said because you said you were so many layers that you were saying the editorial department the oh uh, that yeah department. we had someone that the PR that that contacted their their publicists. Do you foresee that when you were like like okay like Dub had said something the other day like let's say we want to put together an I'm from the zoo magazine and we want to have like all our guests like yourself or you know every year you know how how do we how, how do we change those hats? What do we what do we do to do that? What was um, something we do for us? Okay, first of all, you, you you have to come up and understand who who, who your market is. Okay, so, understand where you're going with the market. Okay, and you know, back in the day, we didn't have social media. Right. Okay, social media. Has uh, has really put a bite into the print media. What okay. do you think about print media today as well? On that, the, does it is it, it on the know, it, it exists because you still got the baby boomers and those who uh, who uh, was out there during that time that still want to get a hard copy mm -hmm. of magazines. I mean, and then you got. Um, uh, you know, again, advertisers that want to see them in a, in a Barnes and Nobles and a Books a Million and on the certain newsstand like Hudson News and etc. Right. Okay. Right. Yes. So uh, that's what I do with some most of my publications that I work with now. Okay. You know, we all, we get we go to the buyer for Barnes and Nobles and we get approval for that and. The, the, the magazines and Barnes and Nobles and Books a Million and on certain newsstands across the country. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Amazing. That's amazing. You got so many hats. How do you how do you stay on top of everything that you do? Through the grace of God. Amen. <laughs> and <that's what> <laughs> what, what excites you more about uh, today's age magazine? on um, the New Style Magazine, what, what you like about the new age of it? Well, you know, basically, you know, we got, uh, you know, there's ma a lot of magazines that are special interest magazines. Those are some of the uh, the magazines that, that are out uh, that, that are out there today. You know, uh, you don't have the general interest, uh, a lot of the general interest magazines out there. Right. All right. You have the music magazines. You have the fashion magazines. Yes. Uh, you have the uh, the the entertainment Sports. magazine. You yeah. know, your son you know. has a magazine as well. Huh? Your 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 son had a mag has a magazine as well. And, yeah, and he used to be. Uh, of course, you know, back in the day, he was the uh, editor in chief of Black Men's Magazine. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, indeed. Sure. Yes, indeed. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, now he has a magazine, and I'm thinking about putting it uh, on the newsstand. And, and right now, it's uh, in the um, uh, it's you know online. It's called In the Black, and it's very high and very fashion ma fashionable magazine. Wonderful. And uh, you know, so we're thinking about taking it and putting it on the newsstand too. That sounds absolutely fabulous. Right. Can't wait to look for it. You know, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know about the rest of the world, but I miss the seeing my Ebony magazine. I know that it still exists, but I miss right. that. So yeah, they, get, they're doing, they do an annual. Right. Now. Right, right. One time a year. But basically, uh, this basketball play, uh, player brought the magazine. Yes, it was, yes. Junior Bridgman, which is one of, who was one of the most outstanding business wealthy, people. yeah, very wealthy. Shouts out to yeah. Mr. Junior Bridgman. Thank you for doing that as well. Mm -hmm. You know, and, he, and, his, and his daughter is running it. Yes, yeah. I, I have some people uh, that I know that wanted to give you a, a shout out, Mr. Blossom Game, that I knew personally. Um, um, uh, Mr. Vernon Wright wanted to say, oh hello. yeah. 
Um, okay. I talked to Dr. Bob Lee from WBLS the other day. Uh, Bob, yeah, I've been I was on his show there. Uh, uh, you the know, Bronx, the Bronx Network. Bronx Network. Yeah, yeah. I did a show with him, and he said hello to you as well. And uh -huh. um, and uh, all, all the people from Newark that I know, you know, I, I still can't wait to talk to you more about that. How you know my family? I thought that's absolutely uh -huh. wonderful. Well, well, I was well, McK McKinnon, uh, McKinnon, McKinnon. Mr. McKinnon. I call him Mr. Mac. Mr. Mac, hey, that's real. <laughs> you know, that's that's so amazing. I mean, I think that's that's how good God is, Mr. Blossom Game. You know, you were friends with my with my my family. You know that before I even existed, and here we are, it being able to continue that that lineage and that friendship. And my grandfather used to hang out with a Frankie Crocker. Oh man, hey, Frankie ain't on your dial. Your, your radio ain't on. <laughs> That's the truth right there. That's there. You can tell us about. So, I mean, I, I think are we going in the fourth quarter? My goodness, uh, we in overtime right now. We overtime. Are we in overtime right now? Oh, okay. <laughs> and I got All another right. meeting. I got to run into anyway. So you do. Oh my goodness, is it? Is it? Oh my goodness. Is, there's so much that I, I don't even know if I've covered so much. Is there anything that you'd like to to share with us about what you have going on right now? Oh, yeah. If well, I, you know, here are the magazines, and I ask uh, everyone out there in the audience, uh, we have True Self magazine. We have, uh, you know, Black Link magazine. We have IGK, Independent Gatekeeper, which is a music magazine. That, uh, that I'd like for people to per pick up on. These uh -huh. are all black owned and black title magazines. We want to promote that on the show. Stand. We could promote those on the show. We would love to. Yeah. We, oh yeah. Did, did you did Definitely. you get a chance to see the the promo video? We're gonna we're gonna update those for you too and do something else. Okay. All right. Well, well, you know what? Uh, uh, I love Kier would be at the show, and I know he's got a good 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 eye. So he, he'll be taking some pictures. If you guys uh, aren't able to make it out there to the show, okay. Kier can get some photos to, for you to the show if you'd like to update where, where it. Can I get the, where can I get the information for the show at? Uh, on my Instagram, new, uh, the, there's, the Instagram is New Day, N-E-W-D-A-Y Associates. That's New Day Associates. New Day Associates. Okay. The CEO of New yeah. Day Associates. Definitely. Right. Right, and, and and but on Instagram it's New Day Associates, and and uh, if you go to my Instagram and, and type in all one word New Day Associate, it'll pop right up. Okay, and we certainly want to put this on the show when we uh, uh the show will be will be seen right here on Wednesdays, eight p.m. West Coast time, eleven p.m. East Coast time will be the replay, and then it'll be up forever. Um, Mr. Blasting Game, this has been such a pleasure. We've got the uh, the chat boxes going crazy. We have so many guests in here. We want to thank them. We want to mm -hmm. thank you so much. I, I hope that we we didn't even get a chance to cover so much, but you know, with all uh, of well, I can come back. I'd love to come back on and and so we can Absolutely. talk about. Hey, you, you you know, you talked about a subject that is so important today, and and uh, and I uh, you know I brought it out, and that is Africa. Yes. And mm -hmm. if those nations would unite, how powerful it would be. Yeah. And right here in America, 1.6 or $1.3 trillion economy, the wow. 16th largest economy in the world. And we, we don't fun. have nothing. We're consumers. Wow. Okay. We yeah. keep nothing in our community. Okay, and you see what happened. You, uh, you would in Oklahoma when we power free, we were powerhouse. We were yeah. building out. We had our own doctors, our own uh, airplanes, air, airplanes. Uh, all, everything. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and they came in and they burned it down. The water near, it underneath down. the water underneath the lake in Georgia. Mm -hmm. We had all of the, all of those movies. Oh, I mean, there's, there's the so many times that we yeah. built. Right. And they got jealous of us. No. Where's no. that, that going to stop? How is that going to stop? We don't know. We're going to have to can see through it. But one thing we will do, we will be here forever. There you go. <laughs> you like that, Doug? That, 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 we will be here forever. Okay. But they uh -huh. don't want us. They don't want us here ever. 
we which, be, which you is know, too we bad built, because we, we still, have still done, carry we, them you know, anyway. You know, hey, hey, we built this country. Yeah. Okay, and they know we built this country. Yeah. And they gave everybody a piece of it, but us. They gave we we gave us and it, it, listen. I want to say this right quick. Yes, they sir. gave us Emancipation Proclamation, a so-called Emancipation Proclamation. But do you know they what they didn't give us? Mm -hmm. They get didn't give us land. Give us land. That's they the did not give us land. They gave us they gave us so-called freedom, but no land. As my but dad then the, said, and, 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 then, and then all these foreigners, the Europeans, they mm -hmm. came out, they came here, and what yeah. did they do? They they put them in the they they uh, out there in the Midwest. They gave them land, land rights, and then they gave them money to develop the land. Mm. Okay, yeah. Check wow. it out. Check we, it out. We know what's going on, and we and Mr. Blessing Gang, we would love to have you back. We know the powers that be, and they know it, but some kind of way, one day, we will have what we have. The promised land is coming just as you have. Without, oh, without a doubt. Without and, a and, doubt. And one thing I want to go before before we leave this conversation, I want to give you your flowers and thank you for coming on I'm From the Zoo with my co-host, B-Dub, Kierworthy. We want to thank you for coordinating this and being here. This is one of the most uh, outstanding opportunities that we've had. I, I'm I'm blessed, truly really blessed to know that you know my family. I know my co-host and Kiki as are blessed as well. We can't wait to see you again. We can't wait to keep supporting you and, and following what you do. And thank you so much for being such a, a great icon, iconic cultural uh substance for black people and our, and and still being a hero and a champion for your culture to this day forever. And we thank everything that you did right here from the zoo and we have to say this because uh kiki gonna get on me if i don't and kier gonna get mad at me if i do but if you know everyone if there was anyone that you could recommend to, to be on our show or suggest um who could that be i know it's putting you on the spot but who would that be i would oh i have a few people that i could recommend i would definitely uh, you know, if, if we can talk, you know, yes, uh, yes, yes, I Absolutely. would definitely let you know some folks that we would definitely you've been. In fact, I can get Mr. Bernard Bronner to come on. That's what we've been, you I know, can talk to. I can talk yes. to Will Packer to come on. Yes. Oh. OK, <laughs> uh, I have some of my publishers would like to come on and talk about, you know, what they're doing with, with their publication. That's fantastic. Okay. And absolutely. Oh, the answer is yes. <laughs> Mr. Blessing Game, okay. thanks for blessing our show. <laughs> My pleasure. It. Hey, listen, let's 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 move forward, not yes. backwards. Yes, we sir. gotta move forward. Now, take it to, that's, another, that's blessed, take right it to another level. Okay. And yes. keep it moving. Yes, I'm okay. gonna keep it moving. Absolutely. Hey, there you go. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much for the blessing. Appreciate Mr. Blessing. Have a blessed day. The blessing game. And you too, you. my friend. Both of you. Yes. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Right. There you have it. We are out. Don't want to go. But we'll see you next time. Welcome to Zoo. This is Mike. Just checking out V Dub. Yeah. Mr. Blessing Game. Wonderful. Nice show, Mike. Miss Henry.